I've got more pork chops than I know what to do with. I'm Sean the Shepherd, and this is Adventures in Minecrafting. Welcome back, everybody, to episode 9 of Adventures in Minecrafting. We're up here again on the nether roof, and we're headed out to the gold farm we worked in last episode, but let me tell you, you are not going to recognize that gold farm. Nope, nope, we made a lot of changes to it. So, let's head out to it, and I will show you what we've done. Well, okay, let me, let me just confess. This is where it should have been, right here. There's the scaffolding, but, but where's, the, where's the gold farm? Where's all those hoppers? Where, where is it? Even if we look up, we can't see it. Oh, it's still here. It's just way up there. Decided to get better spawns, I would move it higher up there. The reason being, if you're higher up in the, on the nether roof, nothing can spawn below the nether ceiling. And so our plan for today is to work on this gold farm a little bit. I want to show it to you. I want to show you what it is capable of. Uh, I brought some coal here in my inventory. I'm going to show you why I brought that and what we need that for up there. But then the second thing we're going to do today is we're going to build a little farm, real easy farm. You're going to be able to build this. You don't have to build it on the nether roof. You can build it right in the nether. We're going to build it here. And that farm is going to be working while we're up, I know you can't see anything, while we're, we're up in the gold farm. So let me take you up to the gold farm and show you what is going on up there. So here we are on top of our scaffolding and you see all the zombified piglins out there spawning on those magma blocks. Now I can go out here, I just have to be careful not to fall in that little hole right there. And you can even see some of the redstone uh, for, uh, that I've used up here. I'll explain that to you in just a minute. But let's go on out here and let me show you what it looks like. Notice you can't even see the ground from up here. There's that scaffolding we came up. And the scaffolding brings us right up to the place that we need to be. So we'll get back there in just a second. So out here I made a just a huge spawning platform. It curves around so that every one of these guys can see me through those half slabs standing over there on that platform. Now the glass up here, this is to keep ghasts from spawning. Yes, Believe busters. me, you don't want to be this high in the nether or above the nether roof when ghasts spawn. I had it a couple of times while I was building it and it is not an enjoyable experience falling all the way down there. Okay, so these guys come in on the two tracks that are laid out for them. They both come around. They don't come at me from both sides. I have them both coming around and aiming at me from here. And let's make the jump. Good. Close these trap doors. They can see me, but they can't get to me. But they want to get to me. Why do they want to get to me? Because I'm about to shoot one of them. Oh, you know, hold on. Before we do that, let's turn down the sound because it's going to get noisy. If you've seen a gold farm before, you know these are going to get noisy. But I love this one. It is super, super simple to build. Uh, this did not take any time at all. All the time was breaking down the old gold farm and building this one. Uh, and this is a farm roughly based on a farm that uh, Ray's Works put out literally just a couple days ago. Uh, they've been playing around with the new nether and this farm just came out so we're playing we're playing around with it now look at that look at all these zombified piglins that are spawning they just keep spawning because again let's uh go out here because these paths are 24 blocks i am 24 blocks from that guy i'm 24 blocks from that guy and so things don't spawn except uh over 24 blocks away so we are just spawning them in and spawning them in and spawning them in and if I take a pot shot at one of them, here goes. Ah, oh, should I be scared? Should I be scared? It's it's a scary thing, right? Look at them. Look at them all coming at me. Look at all. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try to get me. Try to get me. Yoo-hoo. Yoo-hoo. Try to get me. Look at these guys. It's nuts. It's nuts. Now, you're probably saying, why... why how are they dying? You're not swinging a sword. You're not swinging an axe. They're just walking at you. Why isn't he dying? Die, buddy. 
There you go. Why aren't they dying? There's so many of them. Well, the reason is this hole right here has, uh, well, actually, before I explain that, yeah, just die. Okay, let me show you one thing really quick here. Uh, oh, they're still coming. Okay. If I stand right here, they can still see me. And if you look down, the XP is coming from them. And it's coming down through here. This is the, this is the reason they're dying. There are 20, come on, let me up. There are 24 minecarts right there. 24 in a single spot. And Minecraft has something called an entity cramming rule, which means any more than 24 items in a spot and something dies. In this case, it's the zombified piglins that are dying. Now, why do we want to do this? Well, we want to do this because we want gold. So let's go down here and make our way out. Got a little bit of XP sticking in the, oh, there it goes, sticking in the hopper there. I found if I just go over here, it'll come to me. Okay, what are we collecting from this? We are getting gold nuggets. We are getting gold ingots. We're getting tons of zombie pig flesh, pig rotten zombie flesh pig stuff. And we're getting these swords, so many of these swords. See, sword, 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 sword. You know my, uh, oh, I know why we're getting swords. You know why we're getting swords? Hold on, we gotta fix something. This is why I brought the coal. Go around back here to this guy right here. And we're gonna put the coal in there. That coal is gonna make its way right into this furnace. And the gold swords that we get from killing zombie pigmen, you could, a lot of the farms, just burn them up or throw them away. They're just entities. But every single one of them gives us a golden nugget. Here it comes, here it comes. There it was. Uh, every single one of them gives us a golden nugget. So I thought, well, instead of throwing them away, instead of wasting them, why don't we bring them down here, smelt them, and we can be collecting gold down here as well. That's why I was getting gold swords in the system, because it was all backed up. I hadn't put any fuel in the furnace. So let's see here. Let's go ahead and add some swords. Yep, let's pull the swords right down into the furnace. We will get some more beautiful gold nuggets from that. We will craft up the gold nuggets into gold ingots, and we will have gold aplenty for curing villagers, making golden apples, building um, powered rails, uh, and trading with the new piglins. And of course, that's the plan. We want to trade with the new piglins. Let's get these swords out of here. Oh, wow, we got a whole bunch of them. There we go. Now, let me show you how this setup here pulls the swords out from all the other items and puts them in this chest. Now this hopper right here is directly under those 24 minecarts. And so when something comes through that hopper, this comparator reads a signal. Now this is what's called a non-stackable item sorter or filter. And what happens is that when something comes through this, this comparator looks for, sends a reading. And basically the, the, the short of it is this. If a non-stackable item comes through, it unlocks this hopper. You'll notice that this repeater is live. That's because of this live torch lighting this uh, redstone down here, which activates this repeater, makes this block powered. So nothing can go through, uh, through this hopper right here, but if a non-stackable item comes through this top hopper, the comparator sends off a signal of three non-stackable items, send off a, a three signal, and that three goes through one, two, or I think it's, it's three or two, it's two or three. Um, and you can't tell, but there is redstone on top. I put red, red dust on red bricks, but there is redstone on top of this block and this block. And what that does is it sends enough signal through these to turn that light off, which turns off this redstone, turns off this signal, opens up that hopper, and the swords can come into this chest and be sent down to be smelted. And that way, as long as I the system isn't backed up like it just was, uh, we don't get any swords coming into this side, only the stackable items. Okay, we are back down here at the base of our gold farm, and we are gonna build one of the easiest farms in this game that there is to build. It's a brand new farm based on a brand new mob that drops 
You guessed it. Pork chops. That's right. We're going to build a hogland farm, and we want to build it right here on this side. If you look at F3, you'll notice there down in the bottom left, it says biome crimson forest. If we move over here, it says biome nether wastes, and we want to build it right here in the crimson well, that's another way, so that's crimson. There we go, crimson forest. We want to build it right here so that only hoglins spawn, and those hoglins, which aren't the smartest of creatures, three, four, or five, will uh, actually cook themselves. We're going to drop them through a lava blade, and that lava blade, how many did I do here? I wasn't counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll do, we'll do 10. Okay. And then let me expand this a couple. Again, I could build this right on camera, but let me build the platform and then I will bring you back, show you what we did, and you will be amazed how easily you can get food now, food for days <laughs> here in the new 116 nether. Is that not the most mega thing that you have ever seen in the game of Minecraft. Of course it's not. I'm just kidding. But let me show you what this thing is capable of because you will have food. As I said, you will have food for days. First things first, let's light it up up here. Uh, supposedly lighting it up keeps uh, zombie, no, keeps piglins, the people, the, the people thingies from spawning, but uh, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, so here's how this is going to work. We've got a little pit over here, and we want, let's jump down here, we want the hoglins to fall into this pit. So we're going to create a hopper chain just like this, two, five, six, and let's make our way back up top. Perfect. Okay, now how are we going to get the hoglins into this hole right here and even stranger question, how are we going to cook them? How are we going to automatically cook them? Well, we're going to use lava, but in order to put the lava down at the bottom of this pit, we need, oh, there they are. We need trap doors. So let's put some trap doors down here along the bottom row. These can be trap doors. These can be signs. Uh, these could be fence gates, anything you want. And then close the ball and then take your bucket of lava. And I'm going to put mine right there. And that creates what we call a lava blade. And that blade is going to cook them when they fall in there and can't get out. Uh, okay, now we need to put trap doors along the top edge so that they think they can walk right across this hole. Then we need to take some glass. And we're going to put the glass right here so that they think, so they don't think they can go around it. And then I'm going to put some more trap doors down just so nothing else spawns up here. Now, how do we get them to run into this hole? The answer is we're going to scare them because it turns out that even though they're big, mean creatures, they are terribly frightened. Not of us. Where, where's my helmet? Oh, my helmet must have, must have broken. I was wearing a gold helmet. There we go. Even though they're big, terrible, strong, boar-like creatures with massive hitboxes and a, and a punch that can throw you a mile, turns out they're scared of a plant. Warped fungus. You can find this all throughout the new nether. And I'm going to put a fence gate on top of each of these. I just had these handy and I don't want anything to spawn on top there. Okay, perfect. And that's it. That is literally all there is to this farm. You could build this farm in oh, five minutes. I don't think we need all these. Uh, let's, but let's test it out. Okay. My hope is because you need to be far, far above it around uh, 200 or so up there, up there in the sky for this to work. And my hope is, because it's right here by the gold farm, that while we're up at the gold farm collecting XP, uh, collecting gold, that this too will be working. But we wanna see it working. So, let me get some blocks here. And we're gonna pillar up and watch this thing work. Oh, there he is. Wait, 
How do you get across? He's magic. Maybe we need to make those those blocks one block higher. I don't know why though. He should be able to jump two blocks. Okay, 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 go, 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 go. There he goes, into the lava. Okay, here we are. And if we come over here and look at the chest, look at that. Weak, I didn't know Hoglins dropped trap doors. Ah, oh, that must be for me. Okay, so there you go. We've got leather, we've got 13 cooked pork chops. I think I'll add a few of those. So in fact, let me add all of them to my inventory so that we have a completely empty chest here. And let's go up to the top of the gold farm and see if it works while we're up there. Okay, here we are back up top in the gold farm. Let's anger some zombified piglins and move down here. Look at all that lovely XP we're getting. Notice where it's coming from up here and it's coming down here at our feet. We left a gap open here so that it could come out from both places. XP can be a little funny trying to get to you. Now notice here we've angered these guys and some new guys that have just spawned in also got angry. Uh, the, the link to Raiseworks farm, it's, I'm sorry, it's so noisy up here. The link to Raiseworks farm will um, suggests you put a zombified piglin out there on a, on a pillar out away from the post to keep them angry at you. But you know, for a single player world, uh, this is getting me, look at that. We've got 49 XP here. It's just, if you watch that green bar down at the bottom, it's just going up. This farm is working beautifully. Um, all my mending gear, I have mending on this pickaxe. All of my armor is, uh, is rejuvenated, is, is all recovered. So I really don't see a need for a bigger farm than this. I may mess with it in the future. We're definitely going to prettify uh, make it more pretty up here. Uh, we might even bring over a, uh, bring over a, uh, another portal and put another portal up here so we don't have to do all that running around and, and climbing around. See, they're still mad. They're still coming in. Uh, you don't need an extra angry guy out there to keep everybody angry if you're just playing in a single player, player world. We've got plenty here. Now, the reason we were up here is because we wanted to test and see if the Hoglin farm worked while we were up here. Did we get swords? Let's see how we're doing on gold here. Looks like it's cooked them all up. Oh, look at that. We've already got... See, that's why you don't just throw the swords away. That is valuable gold. Waste not, want not, as my grandmother used to say. And there we've got some gold. Looks like we got some gold fall into our inventory. There's some rotten flesh. You do get some things flying into your inventory. Let's see if there's any more. Very good. We got all the XP from that. So let's head down and see if that empty chest in the Hogland farm has something in it. Moment of truth. Dramatic music is playing in the background. Did our Hogland farm work while we were up there in the gold farm? The answer is absolutely look at that we've got 18 cooked pork chops we've got three leather and we are all set this farm is going to work so well for us whenever we come out to collect xp we will also be collecting food and we will be all set no more killing those cute little reuben pigs back in the village we can kill uh, hell pig, hell boars out here in the nether. There we go. Why didn't they call them hell boars? Why, why did they call them nether pigs? Is that a... I don't know. Nether boars. Nether boars. That's what they should have been called. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's about going to do it for this episode of Adventures in Minecrafting. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy, if you've been enjoying these episodes, please, 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 please leave a like. Subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you what you like, what you'd like me to build. Uh, hey, if I did something wrong or if I did something right, let me know down in the comments. And I will see you guys in episode 10.